Merry Christmas everyone and welcome back to a brand new series. Now in this series you learn how to make an hatching system. Now I know I have already made an hatching system series but it still lacked a lot of features such as um, triple hatch, auto hatch, a multiple pet equipping system and stuff like that. Now before this video starts I want to thank you guys all so much for 7000 subscribers. I have never even thought I would achieve this goal and here we are 7000 subscribers now also if you guys want to support me and want to have access to every single one of my tutorial files they will all be available in my patreon in the ten dollars tier with that being said let's start so first thing is uh adding a folder to the service script service and rename it to egg underscore system now i will add a script to this also this egg hatching system will be very mo modular so you can add it to any game you want so it should be pretty simple now we're gonna rename our script to main underscore server main underscore server i can type a main underscore server and also i'll be showing you guys how to add this egg hatching system when when it's fully done to these to the advanced simulator series okay so in here we're gonna type local players is equal to game come get service players and we're gonna have a function right here local function uh player added and we're gonna get the player as an argument now we're gonna have a uh, variable right here local leader stats by the way, what I'm doing right now is making some leader stats for the player. Local leader stats is equal to instance dot new and a folder. Where actually what I'm going to be doing is instead of having to create this manually, what I'm going to do is inside of server storage, I'm going to add a folder and I'm going to rename the folder to egg chain data and after doing that i'm going to add another folder inside of this and renaming it to leader stats and inside of the leader stats folder i'm going to add a a uh, end value and i'm going to rename it to to coins And that's pretty much it. Now, you don't need to create a leader stats folder if you if you already want to if you want to add this to a game that you that you already made. So don't don't do this step if you if you want this to work with your game. But now this is an empty place, so we really need some leader stats. So for i comma v in pairs game dot server storage game dot server storage dot uh, dot uh egg hatching data con get children do v con clone dot parent is equal to and player now what we're doing here is basically looping through this folder and cloning anything that's inside of it and parenting it to the player now we're gonna call this function so players dot player added colon connect and player added. Now if you play the game, you should see that we have some leader stats and some coins, but this will not work every time because you might want to add a weight here so that things are just a bit better. So I'm just going to add a weight right here, weight one or two, and to make this work with the weight. As you can see, if I just go ahead and play right now, it will not work. As you can see, uh, what we need to do is loop through every single player for I come up player in pairs, players, colon get players, do if player, or actually let's just do this player added player. And now that should work. And as you can see, we have some leader stats. 
Now, what we're going to be doing right now is creating a add a uh, an egg. So I'm just going to go to marketplace meshes and egg egg, and we're going to look for an egg mesh. So this here should work. And oh my god, it's huge. Okay, we're going to scale this down by holding shift and press on the Y, the green circle. And now it's scaled down, but we need this to be a bit big bigger. So yeah, this, this should do. And now I'm going to create two, first let me make this a nice uh, egg color. So probably going to be this and i'm going to also make sure to give it a capsule so actually i don't think we really need that well let's do it okay i'm going to add a cylinder press f to zoom in drag it in and i'm going to press ctrl t to rotate it like this and hold uh, hold down uh, control to scale this down shift to scale this up control to scale it down and as you can see, we can now copy the position of our egg. So position. <coughs> and paste it right here. And now as you can see, this is perfectly centered, but we still need to do some stuff. So I'm going to hold shift, scale this down, and I'm going to put it right here. And also I want this egg to go up and this to be scaled a little bit more. <coughs> uh, sorry about that now we'll just drag these down like this and we'll just make this a bit bigger by just selecting this and doing that and I'm going to change the color of this to red or maybe blue I'm going to duplicate it Put it right here and i'm going to make sure that cast shadow is unchecked so that it does not hide the egg and i'm just going to duplicate this again put it right here scale it down and do this now i will change the transparency to something like that and i'm going to change the material to glass and I'll just change the color to white or something like, yeah, this should do. Now, as you can see, we have a nice egg capsule. Doesn't look good, but it, it should do. Now I'm also going to scale down the mesh, the egg mesh like that, put it up. And now I'm going to group everything, control G to group. And rename the model to to egg underscore or let's rename it to basic egg. And now I'm going to rename things. So I'm going to make sure that the actual egg mesh is renamed to and uh, egg mesh. Make sure you spell it exactly like I did. And now we can just make sure that everything is anchored. And also make sure that the egg mesh is not glidable. So it can glide, make sure that's unchecked. Now we have a nice egg capsule, which I'm going to put right here. And now I'm going to just, I think I'm going to make sure that cast shadow is unchecked. And now I'm going to add a screen GY inside of starter GY and I'm going to rename this to egg system. And I'm going to add a frame or a billboard GY. And I'm going to rename this to add a folder to the egg system instead and rename it to billboards egg billboards. I'm pretty sure it was a yes billboard. 
Now we're gonna wanna drag this inside of the egg billboards and rename this to template. Actually drag it out of the egg billboards, put it inside of the egg system. Now I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so you can see better. And I'm going to set the adorny of this. Adorny to the egg mesh. You just have to press on the uh, adorny and uh, click on the egg mesh. And now we're going to add a frame. Now that you've added your frame, we'll make sure that the size of this frame, the position first, is 0, 0, 0. I'm going to drag this inside of the egg mesh. And we're going to make the... As you can see, the frame is here. So make sure you check. Uh, I think it was... Yeah, select your template and check always on top. And now you can drag this inside of the egg system GUI. And as you can see, now we have this frame. Now I'm going to change the size of the actual template to scale. So change it to something like 0 0.1, 0, 0.1, 0, 0. Actually, 0.5, 0. Or maybe like 5. Yeah, 5, 5. Now, uh, yes, yeah, so we should, that should be good. Now I'm going to change the size of my frame to 1, 0, 0, 0.8, 0. And now we're going to have to make this a bit bigger. So the size of the template should be, the Y should be like 10. Now just 8. And or actually, let's change this to seven. And now we can just change the frame size. We're gonna keep the frame size like this. But what I'm going to do is just we can also scale it from here. Uh, that should be good. And I'm going to change the anchor point of my frame to 0 0.5, 0, 0.5, 0. Now we're going to have to just change the anchor point to 0.5, and that should automatically change it to that. And now you're going to have to change the position to 0 0.5, 0, 0, 0.5, 0, and I should center it. And yes, it does. And now I'm going to. Actually, we're going to have to scale this up. So I'm just going to scale it until it, it reaches here. And then I'm going to scale this down like that. And make sure that you leave a bit of space in here. Now I'm going to add a... I'm going to rename this frame to container. And I'm going to add a... The y corner to it and i'm going to change the corner radius to 0.1 0 that should look decent or 0 0.05 comma 0 and now we can add a text button to the template and you can just select it set the size i'm going to also change its color to red it's just temporary now the size of this should be something like 0 0.1 comma 0 comma 0.1 comma 0. That's a bit too small, so I'm going to change this to 0.5 or actually 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. Yeah, 0 0.3 and 0 0.3. Actually, I'm going to change this to 0.32. And I'm going to position it. So the position, I'm going to change the Y or the scale to minus one, minus one, or actually, let's just change this to zero, and minus 0.2. Okay, that makes it go up. Now we want this to go down. So 
we're gonna change this to uh maybe something like one one point one one point zero one one point zero five one point zero three that's good now i'm going to change the size of this to something like point two and this two point two two now that's a bit too small so i'm going to actually that's pretty much it I'm just going to mess around with the size again. Point Z, point two three, just point two two, and I'm going to change the the uh, color to red to white, and I'm going to add copy the white corner, put it inside of this text button, and I'm going to change the text to E capital E and text scale to true and now we're gonna have the font to Fredoka one Fredoka one now we can just rename this to E and we now just duplicate this and I'm going to rename it to R or triple hatch or actually T and I'm going to change the text to T and I'm going to just select the T and position it on the X to something like 0.5 now this is not perfect so I'm going to have this set to 0.3 well actually we can just yeah, that's good. Now we can just duplicate this and I'm going to rename this to R and I'm going to set its position 2.6 and now I'm going to select everything and move it from... Okay. Now how can we move all of this to the right? I think we can just add a frame again to this and you can just scale it up size to one on the one comma zero comma point one comma zero and then you can just drag this down so position we're going to change the y to one or 1.02 and now we can rename this frame to buttons and then we can just add a UI list UI list layout and you can just select all of these and drag them inside of the buttons and now actually add a UI grid layout UI grid layout now you can just keep the e and change the background transparency of the buttons frame to one and now you can mess around with the size of these so i'm just going to change the cell size to 0 0.20 on the offset and zero on the offset for the y and this to 0.1 or point two two and this should be point two or point three or one even three two yeah that's good that's good enough now you can just duplicate these and as you can see they are they are automatically centered and you can just change the this to center and as you can see this is perfect now i'm going to change this to i'm going to rename this to t 
and the text should be T. Now this should be the letter R and the text should be R. And as you can see now we have our test UI. Now I'm going to add a scrolling frame or just a, another frame to this to the frame and I'm going to rename this to maybe something like main frame or yeah main frame and I'm going to change the size on the uh, the size to one to maybe point point nine comma zero comma point nine comma zero this should be this should look something like this and i'm going to change the anchor point the position i'm going to keep on adding the y-axis or, or the x the scale should be point one or point zero five and this should be centered now what you can do is drag this down by setting the scale of the y to 0 0.01 0 0.05 that should be perfectly centered now i'm going to be adding a um, let's add a hmm i think i'm going to go with a frame And this, I'm going to add a UI grid layout to this. And I'm going to rename the frame to template. Now we're going to have the main frame border size pixel to zero. And we'll just have the template background color to a gray. And I'm going to... Add a UI corner to this and point one comma zero, and I'm going to. Hmm, we have this. It should be smaller. Now select your UI grid layout. Set the cell size on the offset to zero zero, and on the scale to point one or point three. Yeah, point three or point two two. Point two eight, and this to three. Uh, I mean one. I mean mm, let's change. Let's just change this to point one, point two, point three, point two eight, point two five, point two six. That's good. Now we're gonna just duplicate this. And as you can see, we can easily fit nine of these. So I'm going to change the UI grid layout. Set this to center. And then set this to center. Well, actually, we're going to keep this as top. Maybe center. And now we can just position the actual frame a bit more to the right something like this yeah that looks really good now i'm going to just change the cell padding to scale so offset zero offset zero and now we're going to change the scale to 0.1 or 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 and this to 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 yeah that, that looks good now we're just going to keep one template and I'm going to make sure that this that we have also I really want to make this bigger so let's just go here multiply the scale by 1.2 and the scale in here by 1.2 and as you can see, we have a problem here. So I'm just going to put that back. Now, I really want to add a viewport frame to this. So add a viewport frame. We're going to change the size of the viewport frame 
two one two one comma zero comma one comma zero and the background transparency to one and that should be it now we're gonna add a that's pretty much it we'll let's add a text label which will display the rarity so the size of this should be one comma zero comma one comma zero point one or comma zero point two comma zero and now we'll just drag this down and drag it down maybe something like this that looks good now i'm going to change the background transparency to one and the text to maybe 100 percent text scale to true and the font to fudoka one or maybe just Arial. Okay, I think I'm going to go with Roboto, and then I'm going to maybe Cartoon. Yeah, Cartoon is good. Now I'm going to change the color of this to something like a nice. Oh, this is the background color. We want to change the text color, so I'm going to have it set to a nice blue or maybe purple. Yeah, purple is good. Now that should be it. Now this is going to be our template for... Now also, you can also mess around with the distance. So you can just change the max distance to 10. And you have to get really close to it. Now we can change this to something like... 20. Or maybe 15. Now if you play the game, that should look good. And as you can see, we can now see that. But as you can see, it also affects the camera. So we're going to have to make that bigger. So we'll just go here and change the distance, distance to 30. And now if you play the game should actually work but we're not gonna be using the max distance because that is just useless we're gonna make sure to use the enabled function now we're gonna just change these the max distance of this to infinite so just put this to some crazy number and then play the game and it should appear and as you can see everything is scaled perfectly so if i just do this it will still work and it will also work on mobile view. And this is exactly why it took way too long.